Hey, what's happening, folks? Texas Boy Now One here, and I'm bringing to you another pack opening video. Y'all didn't get to see the first one. My dumbass did not record it properly, and I needed to just talk to myself for a good 15 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and start this over, and I'm going to go ahead and do another 14 pack opening. I was going to do two. Now I'm going to have to do three just so I can get you guys some content out. I'm at, I was at 3 million coins, now I'm at 290, 2,900,000, and I'm probably going to spend about either probably 600,000 of that, and probably the other, I'm, I'm going to sit around 2 million coins until late, further notice, but I'm probably going to buy one player I like, which is probably going to be Julius Peppers if he's reasonable, but for now I'm going to go ahead and buy these packs for you guys. Baden's doing this cool thing where you're guaranteed a rookie card in each of your packs, so you can complete these collections. And once you complete these uh, rookie collections, you can bring these cards over to next Madden. And so the collections consist of Luke Joko, Geno Smith, Chance Warmack, Matt Barkley, Cordo Patterson, and Monty Ball. And I'm going to go ahead and do that collection later on after I get that one guy for this the defensive rookie collection, which would be... I got Matt Tattel, Star Luke Tulele, and I just need Ezekiel Onsai, and I already got Bakarvi's Mingo. So I just need one guy to get that collection done. I'm going to do both those at the same time. And the cool thing about it is you can bring those cards over the next year's Madden 25 and have a pretty good rookie team so far and have these cards on your team so you don't got to worry about buying much players unless you're your fa unless, um, you need somebody at a specific position, but you can go ahead and just use these guys. They should work for you. And then the Future Star Collection, this is, um, hopefully I can pull another one of these cards. These cards are going for a lot of the auction block right now. And you can also bring these cards over as well on the other collect on the other Madden 25. And it will allow you to keep them. And the one I, one I want to get is D. Milliner. It's a 99, one star, well not one star, 99 cornerback. Really good stats, 97 man coverage. The tackling is really good considering it's an 81. And I'm pretty sure it's that high just because he went to Alabama. And Nick Saban and all the Alabama stars have good tackling. Draker Patrick has, has really good tackling as well. Just sold Bacarvis Mingo for 3,500 coins. But, yeah, I put a lot of him and I put a lot of Manti Teo. So I feel like those two cards would be the most freaking, freaking ones in packs. Let's go ahead and buy another 14 Legend offseason pack. Hopefully this one's better than my last one. I ended up pulling a bunch of rookie Legend cards, which is I didn't really understand. I didn't pull anybody worth my while. Pulled three cover vote cards which is a better ratio than what I have been pulling. No middle linebackers, fantasy, none of that, nothing. So go ahead, hopefully I can get a better deal here. And I might run out of room, so we'll see how this goes. Go ahead and back out all the way because I don't like doing that. I think this gives me better luck. All right, 14 pack, let's go. Can we start this one out with the boom? Draft, interesting though. Draft just gives people hope. It's so interesting because just you don't know if your team's any better after the draft. I feel like my team got better. We got a pass rusher that is big. And he, I, I, wanted, I, th I thought he was Samoan at first, but he's black. <laughs> All right. Uniform for the Ravens. This is, what, this is what you need for that. This is what you need to complete that man, hardest working man of the year collection. I pulled Tim Tebow and I pulled Marshall Falk. I'll take that. That's actually a good start there. That is a really good start. You know, Tim Tebow ain't going for much. That's still 10 grand right there. That's 10 grand there, too. Along with the Ravens uniforms, and I pulled Star Lutalele, and I pulled this Jack Crawford, who is going to get sold, probably. All right, Dan Carpenter, you got to go. Buccaneers uniforms are really red. I wish they had the creamsicle stuff again. Terrence Newman will hold on to you. Jim Harbaugh offense will hold on to you as well. And that's not a bad pack right there. That's 20,000 coins. And the funny thing about it, these Legend Packs cost 3,500 coins, and I would not break even on this collection, on this pack opening, so... That's still funny. That's why I hate Legend Packs. But these are the times that I, I don't mind buying Legend Packs. There's promotional items in these packs. And these are the times that you guys should buy them as well. You should only buy them when there's promotional items. Do not buy them just to buy them because you're, you're not going to pull somebody that's going to, going to make you rich off of it. I have better luck buying off-season packs. I, I can pull a Combine Warrior and one of those as well. I can pull into this one and make my make my coins back as well. Another Manti Teo. 99 one star image Smith. I'll take that. Another one star card. Manti Teo. His tackling is really, really overrated. It's the 88, and I feel like they gave it to him just because they felt bad for him. Tackling should be in the low 70s. But then again, this is mad ultimate team. Tackling doesn't matter. I was playing a guy that had the elite cover vote Ray Rice on two minute drill, and he broke every first contact tackle. I didn't know if that was a hidden stat or not, but he, 
it was ridiculous. I felt like that card is really overrated. I'm probably going to start using that card now my running back just because he broke every single first tackle. No matter who it was, attack. Whoop, what am I doing? I tackle him with Leon Sank. Also broke the tackle. Tackling with Luke Keekley with his 99 tackling plus his three tackling boosts broke the tackle. So kind of BS in my opinion, but I'm going to go ahead and use him as well just so I can reap the benefits of it. Why that card's in, uh, that high. All right, so we got Jim Harbaugh. Minus one to catch and plus one to power move. All right. Michael Irving, one star, keeping the, keeping the trend with one star cards. I like to see. Keeping the trend. That's three in a row. Mikey Apati, Monty Ball. Going to be a really good pickup for somebody to have a. You can, you can be a third down back. You can actually be a starting back in it, but it's kind of like Doug Warren. I, I, I feel kind of a guy that can take over a starting job in the lineup after uh, if the first down back ain't doing his job properly. I don't even know why. He, still, he hasn't got drafted yet. I can probably see him still getting picked up by probably a certain thing, probably like a team like maybe like the Raiders who had injury problems with Darren McFadden who can't seem to stay healthy or maybe a team that just needs to have a third down back that's uh, really quick and elusive. So his stats are underrated in this game. Money ball. Out of Wisconsin. He might go to the Packers, too, but the Packers still can pick up my Eddie Lacy, and he's probably just the younger, better Steven Jackson. Uh, all right, so we pull Marshall Falk, which is ends our one-star which ends our one star streak at three. Pull John Harbaugh, Cowboy Stadium. Pull another Matt Barkley. All right, and Marshall Falk, John Casey. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the rest of these. All these, all these legend cards are useless now. Like I, if you, like at a one point, I feel like you need a legend card to get the just to have this game be function. Now these cards are just going for quick sell value. Cordell Patterson, Vikings receiver. I thought he was gonna go a lot higher in the draft. I felt like he's, I thought he was gonna go to the Rams, but I guess the Rams decided to skip Tavon Austin and pick somebody else up. All right. So Cordell Patterson, Mike Shanahan. I think I might run out of room again. Jared Cook, we'll go ahead and keep him. I know Casey and Kelsey ain't going for much. I said his name wrong. Pull 92 Mean Joe Green. Uh, there should be a Mean Joe Green collect, not collection. I mean a uh, Reggie White collection. Dwayne Brown, AJ Eds, and Packers. No good cards there. But this rookie card is actually pretty useful and kind of useful at the same time because you're not going to use them at all this year. So and these. Really, really not worth any these packs, but I'm just hoping I can pull one of these future stars. I don't have the best luck in this game. A lot of y'all keep telling me that I probably need to stop buying packs and just buy the card, but hey, might as well. Y'all like watching videos, so I might as well go ahead and open packs. I'm going to open this one. It's what I used to do one at a time. Go ahead and quick sell him, quick sell him. Maybe I can get that Ezekiel onside. Geno Smith, whatever. All right, Dave Casper. Quick sell Dave Casper, too. I don't care if he's going for a lot, but he's getting quick sell. I'm tired of seeing that guy. Paul Kruger, and I pulled... All right, I pulled Demario Williams. I think he's going for like 3,000 coins. It'd be kind of cool if I pulled Menlik Watson or maybe Patrick, Patrick, uh, not Patrick Willis. What's his name? Brian Erlacher or something like that. But I'm not complaining. I'll take that card, though. I don't know what he's going for, though. But I'm pulling the same card. So these cards are probably going. So the rare cards are in this collection are probably, it's just Ezekiel onside. But I wouldn't be surprised if I go back on the auction block right now. He's back at 4,000 coins. Like, so many people are pulling packs right now. A lot of people are just. Are just blowing their coins right away, which is what was, which is what I expected. All right, Callum Wins on ninety two. I think it's still about ten grand there. Mike Shanahan once again. David Akers, Pete Carroll, Chance Warmack. I just bought him for about three k. So I hope I can that's basically make my coins back on that. Laron McLean. I don't know why I can look at that Brandon Graham guy. These left end silver cards, hopefully they go for a lot, but I might probably sell my cards tomorrow. Cause I kind of feel like the market is gonna be saturated right now, and I'm not sure when they're gonna be taking these guys out of packs. I haven't said anything about it so far, so it might be it might just be like this the entire week. So if you, if I were you guys, you guys trying to make coins, wait to sell your cards and sell them like after they come out of packs because it make, you'll make a lot more coins that way. I ended up selling a playoff gym, uh, playoff. What is this, Rob Gronkowski? And I picked up for twenty or thirty k, and I sold him for a hundred and thirty five. So 
that was it was I was happy about that. And then a lot of people were asked how high I make my coins. That's really how I do it. Just buy cards low, sell them when they get high. You just gotta be patient. This is a really good pack. I pull Star Lutalele, Panthers, first rounder, first defensive tackle they ever drafted, which I'm happy about. Really good player. Ninety two autogram. And I pull DRC combine. I'll take that right now. And I pull Kaiser left in the Panthers. Dallas Clark, you gotta go. All right, that's a good pack right there. That's their good. That's what I'm talking about. You know, DRC ain't going for much anymore. <laughs> uh, make sure. Oh, no, no. Am I good? Am I quick selling anybody out? Nope. Okay, we're cool. Nope. Quick sell. Yeah. I think I'm going to try to pick up Patrick Peterson if, he, if he's at a reasonable price, but I'm pretty sure everybody's well, I'm pretty sure everybody's picked up that one player they wanted, and it's like three or four in the market at like a million coins right now. Cause I know Rod Woodson was cheap, and now my buddy says like one at 1 1.8 million because they know everybody got coins, and somebody wants the cards. Somebody there's free coins there. They're going to probably go ahead and buy it. All right, man, Titea, like, come the bleep on. Why do I keep pulling him? Man, I tell you, I hate this guy. I'm, I'm glad he didn't get picked in the first round. That's, that's just me being salty. But I freaking, I don't know why I keep saying him. And tomorrow on Sports Center, all you're going to hear is why did Man Titeo get picked in the first round? And by tomorrow, I'll probably mean today, because you guys won't see this on probably, probably until Friday afternoon. But yeah, it's just it's going to be a everybody asking questions about why he didn't get drafted in the first round. And why he said people said they were going to draft him if he was there. Nah, nobody wants it. Nobody wants him. <laughs> Nobody wants a dumb football player. Like, oh, I'm running out of room. Let's go back to reserves. I love it when I'm out of room. All right, let's see. Let's go just bring all my contracts. Nope, what am I doing? I'm not trying to do that. Let's bring some contracts to my actives. Oh, running out of room. I know, I know, I know, Madden. Stop telling me. I'm going to fight you. I think I'm about to start quick selling all the cards that I pull in packs. I know I'm going to buy some more that I know are going for a lot. All right. We got 22. Uh, clicking. So I could probably open like, yeah, we're going to do this. And all these cards that act is. How many is that? 23. I went over. <laughs> Sorry, I stopped counting. Man, today at work sucked. I was watching the draft while I was at work. Oh, it's terrible. Freaking, I, I went to lunch at 7. And then a customer came right before the Chiefs picked their first round pick. And I was dealing with them for 40 minutes. I'm not even paying attention. I'm paying attention to my draft on my phone. And then as soon as I get done with that, I get these two requests to go pick up a daggone uh, dishwasher. It was just, I could not, be, I had the worst luck. Like, I could not watch the draft if I if I sat down and wanted to. Couldn't even take my lunch at the time. Man, I hate working at that job by myself. All right. Derek Brooks, all right, you might just get, uh, 92, we're going to keep you. We're gonna, Linda Mare, Monte Leach will keep you. Turk McBride will keep the left end as well. Antonio Brown, you got to go. Laura Nidish, you got to go. Cordell Patterson again. We'll keep him. Mike McCartney. Gary Kubiak. You, yeah, you got to go. You got to go. You got to go, too. I keep saying that. I sound retarded. All right, we'll go ahead and get rid of all of those. And there's four cards there. Maybe I can open another one. Let's see if I can sneak. Can I do another one? Yes, I can. I got four packs to go. Maybe I can get all these open. And then sell these, come of these cards tonight and open another one probably tomorrow before I go, right before I go to work. All right. Romeo Cornell, Tim Tebow Combine. Uh, start to Lele. I keep pulling him, but it's, I'm not mad about that. It's a good sign. Paul Solia, John Mackey, 92. That's a card that might be going for a lot. Ryan Pickett ain't going for much. Tim Tebow is going to get quick, so I know you ain't going for much. Bobby Williams looks like he is squinting. I don't look. Wow, wow, wow. I'm really observant. I said he looks like he's squinting. Of course he's squinting. Uh, Cam Chancellor will hold on. No, we won't to sell you your safety. And we, nobody needs you anymore. And I hate quick selling cards, but I got to just so I can get these rest of these packs open. And don't, don't, don't stop me. Don't stop me. There you go. All right. Don't stop me. Let's go. Ron Rivera. Hopefully, he has a better year in Carolina this year. Otherwise, he's going to get fired. Uh, Troy Aikman, one star. Gerald McCoy. Oh, top rated Peyton Manning. Oh, so that's, that's what I'm talking about. 17K there. Wouldn't be surprised if he's cheap now. I probably can do the hard work of man collection now that I pulled him, which I might just go ahead and do. Just need to go buy Adrian Peterson. Gerald McCoy. Brown, Stephen Tullock, uh, what? oh my god, I swear, I keep pulling him, Star Luke Delay, <laughs> oh, Tyson Clavo, quick sell, 
I hate quick selling cars, but I have no room, so I got to. Don't follow my philosophy, people. All right, do as I, don't do as I do. What how's the saying go? I'm like a parent. Don't do as do do as I say, not as I do. I'm quick selling these cars because I have to. I have to. I don't want to, but I have to. All right, can I get these rest of these facts over? Do I got to cut the video short? Open the rest later. Yep. All right. Well, I'm gonna cut the video short here. Open the rest of these later with the rest of my pack openings. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try to t spend more time talking about the draft, my next one, but I'm not sure if I am because I didn't really watch the draft, so I can't really give you guys my honest assessment. Plus, I f like I said, I feel like, feel like I don't really understand. I don't. F I just feel like the draft is just for people who actually follow college football, and that's not me, but hopefully late later in the years I'll start following a lot more so I can give you guys a better opinion on it. But that's all I got for you guys. Have a good one. Peace.